What's up, Capricorn? It's your girl Sid from Savvy Sentient, and welcome to your November 2021 general reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you all are new here, hello. Again, I'm Sid. Welcome. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. If you are not new here, welcome back, and thank you so much. Um, if you all are interested in personal readings, you're going to head on over to SavvySentient.com. That is the only place where you can book. That will be linked in the description box below, along with the direct me link where you can follow me everywhere on all of my social media. So do that. Thank you. All right, Capricorn. So we're going to pull in overall energy for this reading for you to see what y'all got going on this month. Please don't have me pulling up on y'all this month. Like, I'm tired of reading the same things. Leave that person alone that you're supposed to have been. Stop messing with, okay? Jeez. All right, anyway, what's the overall energy of this reading for Capricorn? Overall energy of this reading for Capricorn. Bruh, <laughs> I'm really going to fight y'all, like, in real life. Please let this be something different. But we have the Six of Swords in the reverse. Now, in the upright, the Six of Swords indicates... Uh, moving on, leaving your baggage behind, leaving conflict behind, moving into calmer waters, okay? Moving on with your life. But like in the reverse, you having a little bit of difficulty moving on. So I don't know if that means that you haven't left a situation or you have left a situation, but emotionally, mentally, you still struggle. Let's see. Let's see what that has to do with this reading. Okay, so this is a general reading. If it resonates for you, then it was meant for you. If it does not, please check your other placements, your moon rising and Venus, okay? Um, take what does resonate, leave behind what doesn't. This is a reading for an entire collective. So every single inch of this reading may not be specifically for you, but if you would like a reading that's specifically for you, SavvySynthian.com, book with your girl. All right, nine cards, please. Nine cards, please, for the Capricorn Collective. All right. Two of Cups is the leading reading. Partnerships, love, soulmates. All right. What other cards do we have? Seven more cards, please, for Capricorn. Seven more cards for Capricorn. Seven more cards for Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's still the same situation. Por qué? Por qué, Capricorn? <laughs> Every time you try to leave, someone keeps pulling you back, you back. Come on. All right, Capricorn, look. In the top of the reading, like I said, you have the Two of Cups. All right, partnership, soulmate, energy. Um, could also be twin flame. For the lower arcana, the two of cups, I don't typically associate it with that. I would say more the lover's card, but you know, soulmate, energy. Then we also have the queen of wands, someone who is confident, charismatic, sexy, someone who you're very attracted to. And then we have the full card, optimism, taking a leap of faith, new beginnings, and a clean slate. What I'm already feeling is that you all are trying to reconcile old situations and make them work why because you all are so loyal king of hazards energy all right two of cups king of hazards and the justice card perhaps there's something that you feel you can make right with this situation um, perhaps you feel like you can bring justice to the situation. And for some of you all, that may very well be the case. You may be able to work things out and have a stable, happy relationship with whoever this person is. Or if this is a work situation, you may be able to work this out and make your money king of hazardous energy and everything be fine and dandy. Um, but that's not for everybody. Don't make it fit. Don't try to make it fit. All right. We have 
the temperance card the temperance card is a patience a card of patience and healing it is funny that it comes out next to the queen of wands who is a nurse in this particular deck and the temperance card is a syringe in this particular deck so i really feel like you believe that you can heal the situation with the queen of wands as the king of pentacles um however you are anxious losing sleep having nightmares and all the tings when it comes to this situation, all right? Um, for those of you all, this is a work situation. Your job is something that you're very passionate about and you feel like whatever difficulty that you're facing in this job can be healed. All you gotta do is have a little bit of patience and you can work it out. But you're actually losing sleep over the situation. It's not necessarily getting better. Clarify the nine of swords. <laughs> Strength guard. But you are trying so hard to finesse the situation and to get what you want. You're trying so hard to smooth it over to get what you want. <sighs> Capricorn, darling. All right. So in the bottom row, we have the two of hazards. Trying to prioritize what is most important to you. Um, taking heroic action towards a new beginning. For some of you all, the issues uh, that you all faced before were because you didn't make this person a priority or vice versa. And so now, like I said, you're trying to heal that. You're trying to take heroic action by starting over with optimism and taking a leap of faith. Girl. All right. I mean, that's your business. I'm not even going to waste my gas pulling up on y'all. For some of you all, it'll work out. For others of you, it will not. I guess all you can do is try. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. For those of you all who this is definitely not work and definitely some form of a relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a friendship. Let's see what the out in time wellness has to say about you. Messages for Capricorn. Message. Oops. Okay, I didn't mean to do all that. All right, all right then. All right, so <laughs> I'm tired. The cards that come out is the wedding ring card. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. You may be or may have been married to this person or may have been a long-term situation. Stability. With the palm tree card, security, permanence, growth, and endurance, and flexibility, all right? So this may be what you already had with this person, or this could be um, what you intend to have with this person moving forward. However, we do have the stab in the back card, heartbreak, pain, separation, and deception, a shocking attack, okay? So for some of you all... I mean, as you know, maybe you don't know, but time is not linear in the spirit spirit world. For so so for some of you all, this has already happened. You all are married, you all everything was great, and then here they come stabbing you in the back. For some of you all, you are currently in wedded bliss or a long term relationship, happy, but it's not gonna last. You're gonna be stabbed in the back, and you're really needing to move on from this situation. But for whatever reason, you're choosing to be a fool and keep on trying, clean the slate, whatever, whatever. <laughs> All right, um, let's go ahead and get some monology messages for you. All I can do is wish you good luck. Let me clarify that fool. I don't know something. Tell me, clarify the fool, please. Clarify the fool. Because we're rushing towards this new beginning, like, okay, it came out kind of sideways, but um, 10 of hazards, you're feeling like this could be stable. This is a, a, a new beginning, a stable new beginning. So that's why you're rushing towards it. I don't know what has happened from now, well, from the past few readings until now. Maybe this person went to counseling or said they're going to counseling. Maybe they're really selling you that dream. But look, if y'all need a personal reading, I hate you, girl. Look, that's all I can say. Um, <laughs> messages for Capricorn. 
cards, y'all, I've been trying to tell them. Like, I don't know why they're listening to me. Why they're not listening to me. <laughs> the end of a tough cycle approaches. This is the full moon of Capricorn. Full moon on your side. Something that you need to release. The next card that came out says, what do you need to release? <laughs> the whiny moon card. What is it that you need to release? And then finally, believe in the impossible, the blue moon card. And I really feel like that's your energy. You're really believing that this person has changed, the situation has changed, that there's so much um, potential. And you know what? I'm not going to be a negative Nancy. I'm going to let y'all have that, okay? You all own that energy. You all be optimistic, okay? I'm not going to send no negative vibes your way. If you believe that this thing is going to work out, well, damn it, it's going to work out. All right? I'm going to keep calm and carry on. All right, let's go ahead and get some rebel messages for you. Some messages for Capricorn. Just too many. Messages for Capricorn. Talk nice or don't. I don't really care. Just tell them what they need to hear. Just tell them what they need to hear. Just tell just tell them, just tell them. You are giving away your power. You're a badass. Act like it. The next card says you are giving too many fucks. And that's probably how you're giving away your power. Give zero. You care too much. You care too much, Capricorn. And finally, you are the best thing that's ever happened to you. Go easy on your own ass. Buy your own drink. Buy your own damn drink, damn it. All right. Um, so, yeah, I feel like some of y'all, with the way those rebel cards were set up, like you're giving into the situation because the other person wants it. And maybe they're really selling this dream of... Um, Things are going to be better. I'm different now. If this is a job that maybe has slighted you before, they're selling you this dream. Uh, things are going to be different. Um, we're better now. <laughs> and you are giving away your power because you're believing it. Even though you've seen previous times, multiple times, that this is who they are or this is what the company is or this is what the situation is. But for some reason, you allow them to cap you and make promises to you. For some of y'all, with this uh, job, this new beginning is like some type of promotion with a little bit more money, but it's still the same old shit. Same shit company, same shit building, same fucking Zoom chat that you log into that is shit, okay? Okay. They just painted it up nicely and served it to you on a different plate, okay? So, um, that. All right, so let's go ahead and get some advice for you. Advice for Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn. All right, so the advice that comes out for you, Capricorn, is the two of wands, the daughter of wands and the daughter of pentacles. All right, the two of swords is the need to make a head over heart decision. Get up out of your feelings and use your damn head to make the right decision. Daughter of pentacles is a card of manifestation, financial windfall, good luck. All right, uh, messages of new stability, planning for new stability. So you need to make a decision to do what is best for you using your head, not your heart. Manifest, create, uh, make plans for new stability, new opportunities, and follow your heart. Go after what you're passionate about with the daughter of wands, okay? What inspires you? That's what you need to chase. That's what you need to make plans for, all right? Um, if this is a job, this is probably not a job that you've been caring for, but it's financially beneficial. So you roll with it, but it's not where you would really like to be at this point in your life. So make the decision to change and do what you actually want to do. If this is a relationship, same energy. 
Get up out of your feelings and use your head. If it's not healthy, if it's not good for you, cut it off. And manifest some new shit, some better shit, something that you could be passionate about. All right? So let's go ahead and get your postcard from Spirit, and then I'm up out of here. What does your spirit team want to say? Okay. <laughs> All right. It says, there is you. We're a chatty bunch over here. We're always talking about how to support you in your life's journey. We communicate to you through the language of oracles, dreams, signs, metaphors, and omens. In your life on earth, however, clarity in your communication is essential to being understood. You don't speak in symbols, and if you did, you would definitely confuse things. Right now, you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity, be clear, and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first step is to admit out loud that you have needs. The second is to ask out loud for your needs to be met. And third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer. In your favor, affirmative, we say. Loving you so very much. So if this is a job, like I said, you need to let them know what you need, what you want. Yeah, the money is cute, but I need respect. But I need a mental health break. Stop overworking me. I need life and fucking work balance. If this is a relationship, I need equality. I need reciprocity. Okay? Speak what you need. Be firm. Be clear. And see that your needs get met or you're going to have to roll the fuck out. And that's that on me. All right, friends. All right. Capricorn, that has been your reading. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And until the very next time I read for you all, I'm wishing you all love and light and everything right. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.